Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. Did everybody find their seats up in the rafters? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you all for coming back. I hope you all had a great day and had an opportunity to visit. Those of you that had meetings with Dr. Klein, I think they were extremely productive. Uh, you know, it's not every day that we have the opportunity to visit with the person who is not going to be the chair of our committee, but will be guiding the chair of our committee. And so to have him here, to give us that kind of direct feedback was an incredible opportunity for all of our committees today. So thank you, Dr. Ariasola, for organizing um, his visit and, and for, for making sure that he's comfortable, in a, in, very comfortable, right? Okay. Because uh, we want to make sure he's happy. <laughs> uh, so the other, uh, some of you all had your department meetings. Some of you had uh, some additional trainings this afternoon that you needed to do. I want to, I hope you all had opportunities to visit with each other. Some of you hadn't seen each other all summer long, and, and this was an opportunity for you all to, to rekindle and, and, and get together again and start planning for the next semester. So... Um, we're very excited that, that all of you are back, and I'm thrilled to, to see all the friendly faces uh, smiling for sure and happy to be here. Um, before we begin, there are a couple of things that, that um, I, I think you all should know. I know that in the audience we have a bunch of new um, faculty and staff. I'm going to ask all the new, I don't want to embarrass you, if you can and you're not and you don't mind, if you're a new employee, please stand and be recognized. If you're a new employee, please stand. <laughs> Welcome to Laredo College and to our Mean Green Mondays. If you didn't notice, everybody's wearing green. We wear green on Mondays. It's a lot of fun, and, and usually everybody wears it on Fridays, too. Uh, so uh, I, I did want to take that moment to, to recognize all of our new, our new folks. Thank you all for being here, for choosing to work at Laredo College, um, where you know, our mission is all about students. So thank you all very much. Again, I'm just here to say thank you for being here. I want to welcome back Ms. Tita Vela, uh, our trustee who, who joined us this, today. And so thank you for, for being here, Ms. Vela. Please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Many years ago, she was sitting right where you are as an employee of Laredo College. And she's really proud of that. And we're really proud to have her serving on our board uh, and we thank her certainly for her service and for uh, always being worried about what's happening in our classrooms. And with that, we're going to continue with our award ceremonies for today. Uh, please help me welcome uh, the Vice President of, of Institutional Advancement, Dr. Diana Ortiz, to give out the five-year service awards. Thank you, Dr. Ramirez. We will be recognizing all employees from Laredo College who have given five years of service to Laredo College. Ms. Bianca E. Brewster, Lamar Bruni Vergara Environmental Center. Congratulations. <laughs> Ms. Paulita Castillo, Natural Sciences.
Ms. Graciela Y. Gonzalez, Medical Assistant Program. Ms. Erika Gonzalez, Office of the Registrar. Ms. Tracy A. Humphreys, Associate Degree Nursing Program. Ms. Janie Jimenez, no, Jimenez, Child Development. Alonso G. Laurel, Radiology Technology Program. <laughs> Dr. Michael Martinez, Associate Degree Nursing Program. <laughs> Veronica A. Garcia, Laredo College Police Department. Ms. Erica De Leon, Kinesiology. <laughs> Mr. Nathan A. Perez, Transportation Technology. <laughs> Ms. Ana Luisa Ramirez, Performing Arts and Communications Department. Mr. Alejandro Rizzo, Industrial and Electronic Technologies. <laughs> Dr. Rafael E. Romo, Kinesiology. <laughs> Ms. Moraima Valdez Flores, Camino Prada Child Development <laughs> Center. Mr. Pablo A. Vasquez, Industrial and Electronic Technologies. Congratulations to all five-year recipients service award for Laredo College. To recognize the 10-year service award recipient, welcome the Vice President of Student Success and Enrollment, Dr. Fred Solis, Jr. It gives me a great pleasure to present uh, the recognition for the 10 years of service to the following uh, employees. San Juanita Aguilar, Kinesiology Department. Sira N. Estevez de Hernandez, Continuing Education. <laughs> Jessica P. Gonzalez, Library Services. <laughs> Maria D. Hernandez, Plant Operations and Maintenance. Blanca I. Magaña de Corona, Vocational Nursing Program. <laughs> Dr. Gilberto Martinez, Performing Arts and Communication. <laughs> Victoria R. Martinez, Purchasing.
Dr. Michael Meng, Natural Sciences. Jacqueline K. K. Patino, Adult Education. Brenda Wolf, Martinez Fine Arts Center. Fabiola Rodriguez, Retention Services. Nancy Vela Herrera, Associate Degree Nursing. <laughs> Claudia I. Velasquez, Plant Operations and Maintenance. <laughs> Young Yao Liu, Yao, Associate Degree Nursing Program. Congratulations to all the 10-year recipients. <laughs> to recognize the 15-year service award recipients, please welcome Mr. Cesar Vela, Vice President of Finance and Administration. Good afternoon. Uh, it is my pleasure to present the 15 years of service recipients. Nelda Crooks, Protective Services. <laughs> Rosalinda de la Cruz, Bursars. Elizabeth Enriquez Atwell, Natural Sciences. <laughs> Beatriz Flores Martinez, E-Learning and Instructional <laughs> Innovation Center. Bernabé G. Gutierrez, English Languages and Cultural Studies. Alejandro Hinojosa, Institutional Research and Planning. Mary D. Lara, Compliance and Risk Management. Elva Lozano, Institutional Research and Planning. Brenda Martinez, Continuing Education. Rosa Rios, Library Services. Alan Webb, English Languages and Cultural Studies. Congratulations to the 15 year recipients. To recognize the 20 years of service award recipients, welcome the Vice President of Compliance and Risk Management, Dr. David Ariasola.
Hello, it's uh, truly an honor to recognize these individuals who have served the college for 20 years. Glenn W. Blaylock, Natural Sciences. <laughs> Gloria A. Castillo, Child Development. <laughs> Esther Casares, Accounting. Benny Contreras, Media Center. Dimitri Garcia, Assessment Center. Francisco Garcia, Information Technology. Roberto Garcia, Transportation Technology. Guadalupe, Dr. Guadalupe Garza, Jr., Natural Sciences. San Juanita Juarez, Payroll. Sonia M. Mireles, Accounting. <laughs> Rene J. Montemayor, English Languages and Cultural Studies. <laughs> Angelita Nunez Gomez, Development. Anastasio R. Ramirez, Loretta College Police Department. <laughs> Frank Ramirez, Transportation Technology. <laughs> Ramon Salazar, Jr., Loretta College Police Department. and Tony Villarreal, Center for Learning, Academic, and Student Success. To recognize the 25-year service award recipients, welcome the Associate Provost for Strategic and Collaborative Partnerships, Partnerships Dr. Heriberto Hernandez. Good afternoon. It is an honor to present the 25 years and 30 years of service recognition of service awards to the following individuals, starting with the 25 years of service. Dr. David Ariosola, Compliance and Risk Management. <laughs> Ms. Linda Gomez, Accounting. Mr. Ricardo Limon, Community and Media Relations. Ms. Ana Olera, Property Inventory.
Mr. Patricio Ortiz, Institutional Research and Planning. To continue with the 30 Years of Service Awards, To start the 30 Years of Service Award, we have Ms. Elva Bubo, Office of Student Life. <laughs> Ms. Linda Gomez, Planning and Institutional Effectiveness. Ms. Arely Lara, Academic Innovation and Technology. <laughs> Ms. Victoria Rodriguez, English, Languages and Cultural Sciences. <laughs> Ms. Silvia Trevino, <laughs> Counseling <laughs> Services. Congratulations to the 25 and 30 years of service recipients. To recognize the 35, 40, and 45 year service award recipients, welcome the Provost, Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Maricela Tijerina. It gives, gives me great honor to present to you the 35 Year of Service Award recipients, Dr. Sara Cabello. <laughs> Behavioral Sciences. Beatriz S. Gutierrez, Office of the Dean of South Campus. Juan F. Little, Plan Operations and Maintenance. And our one and only 40 year of service award, Mr. Carlos A. Perez, Information Technology.
It gives me great honor to present to you the 45 Years of Service Award. These two individuals I have the pleasure of working very closely with, and I know they're very dedicated and committed to the college. So congratulations. First is Ms. Gloria Juarez, Child Development. Mr. George E. Eddie McDonald, the business manager. Congratulations to all of you and thank you for your service. To present the United Way State Employee Charitable Campaign Exemplary Donor Award, please welcome the Dean of Community Education, Ms. Sandra Cortez. Thank you, thank you. So I am Sandra Cortez. Good afternoon. I am the United Way State Employees Chari Charitable Campaign Liaison for Laredo College. I am here today to acknowledge and thank the donors who help us to exceed the 2023-2024 goal of $20,000. 99 LC employees donated a total of $20,879. Of those 99, of those 99, we had 33 top donors in the United Way categories of bronze, silver, gold, and platinum levels. Those individuals are in the bronze category, Beatriz Gutierrez, Maria Luisa Ramirez, Cristina Valenciano, Oscar Morales, Cesar Vela, and Donald Hale. If you all are here, please stand and be recognized. In the silver level, we have Elva Bubel, Adriana Craddock, Sandra Rodriguez, and Gloria Juarez. <laughs> the gold level, we have Angel Lopez and Cindy Elizalde. the platinum level, we have Manuel Ramirez and Dr. Elizabeth Rodriguez. The remaining 18 chose to remain anonymous. You have that choice when you uh, donate on the form to remain anonymous. There were seven departments with 100% of staff donating and qualifying for the President's Office Prize. They are the following. The Workforce Development Center, Event Services, Finance, Grants, Student Discipline Title IX, Retention Services, and Office of the Dean of South Campus Administration. Thank you to each one of you for your, of your departments. Some departments are departments of one, but it still counts. Uh, it's still a department, exactly. So uh, you all each will be getting a pizza party hosted by Dr. Ramirez. And on behalf of Laredo College, we thank everyone for their donations. Your generosity significantly impacts the lives of our community. I want to thank our committee members, starting with Ms. Beatriz Gutierrez, Salvador Sierrafa, Rosa Rios, Cindy Rodriguez, Linda Gámez, and Alicia Reed. 
Without these individuals, uh, the recruitment and the uh, reaching out to donors would not be possible. As we close this year and the new one begins, we have committed to a $20,000 goal again. Remember, every donation counts. The amount does not matter. It adds up really, really quickly. We will be reaching out soon for this year's campaign. And again, thank you for your kindness and have a great year. Now to present the Employee Giving Campaign Spirit of Giving Award, please welcome the Director of Development, Mr. Rene Gonzalez. Good afternoon. The Laredo College Employee Giving Campaign is a new campaign uh, here at Laredo College, and we'd like to thank everyone who's been involved in donating to the campaign. Through, through these funds, we've been able to secure dollars for some of the programs here at, the, at Laredo College. And for the, we'd ask each department to come up who received an award, and the awards for the first one is academic advising. So we can have a representative from academic advising come up. The Assessment Center. <laughs> Associate Vice President of Planning and Institutional Effectiveness. Associate Vice President of Student Success and Support Services. <laughs> From the Bursar's Office. <laughs> Disability Services. <laughs> Human resources. Okay. The Office of Financial Aid. The Office of Student Life. Office of the Associate Vice President of Enrollment Management. Office of Safety and Risk Management. <laughs> Retention <laughs> Services. <laughs> Student Health Services and Wellness. And Title V lead. We also have two individual awards for the Spirit of Giving Awards, and those are for two individuals that gave the most to the campaign. The first one being Alfredo Garcia. And leading by example, Dr. Minita Ramirez.
Thank you to everyone that participates in the, in the campaign, and we hope to see you this upcoming year. We honor three faculty categories every year. I'll begin first with the NYSOD Excellence Award recipients. They just recently got their medals in Austin in May. And for those of y'all that don't know, at graduation, the ones that wear the medal with the red ribbon, that's a NYSOD uh, medal. So very honored to present the, the four recipients. Uh, Mr. Ricardo Vergada if, from Adult Education. Ms. Gracie Y. Gonzalez from Medical Assisting Program. Come on. Michelle Perez couldn't be with us today, but we certainly honor her. Uh, Mr. Rene Montemayor from the English Languages and Cultural Studies. Next, we will honor the School Bell Award recipient, Ms. Diana Pescador from the Mathematics Department. And lastly, certainly not least, um, our Golden Apple Award recipient was Ms. Juliana Kelly from the Natural Science Department. We will now begin our presentation of the Laredo College Excellent Awards. Dr. Elizabeth Rodriguez will present the first two, which are the Teamwork and Innovation Awards. Good afternoon, everybody. So I'm gonna present the Teamwork Award first. And before I call who, was nom who we nominated, well, 
The description is going to give it away, but anyways. So um, CTEL's initiative to deliver workshops focused on OER and the innovative use of artificial intelligence in creating OER resources further underscores their commitment to reducing costs while enhancing the educational toolkit available for faculty. These efforts collectively highlight CTEL's successful fulfillment of its objectives, significantly cutting down on student expenses and fostering a collaboration, supportive environment for faculty, faculty during this critical transition. I would also like to include um, our English department and our kinesiology department who adopted OER prior to us moving towards OER. So I'd like to invite on the stage our Center for um, Teaching Excellence and Learning, our OER branch, which includes Prakash Mansinghani as our CTEL lead, Michelle Perez, she's our content creator, facilitator, and the department chairs for English department and kinesiology. I'd also like on the stage um, Beatriz Flores Martinez, who was uh, instrumental in helping with the transition from our e-learning department, and Omelia Marin from our library department. So if you can come on stage and be recognized. Okay, so now I'd like to present the award for innovation. So again, I'm gonna give it away before I call up over the individuals, but I'm excited to nominate the Center of Teaching Excellence and Learning for their remarkable achievement in creating and launching the CTEL podcast. This project was a testament to true collaboration as the team worked seamlessly with various departments to bring this vision to life. They partnered with the Instructional Technology Center to expertly edit the podcast, ensuring a polished and professional final product. Additionally, they collaborated with the Workforce Development Center and the eLearning Center to record and integrate commercials, effectively promoting these departments within the podcast. This collective effort showcases the power of teamwork and innovation in delivering a valuable resource for our community. So I'd like to bring up to stage the Center of Teaching Excellence, our pedagogical branch, which include Linda Ramirez, our CTEL lead, Analu Ramirez, our content creator facilitator, Maria Lourdes Gutierrez, content creator facilitator, Dr. Orlando Patricio, content creator facilitator, Erica Pais, content creator facilitator. I would also like to invite on stage um, Brenda Carmona, who was instrumental in helping to mod to um, to help with the with the with the editing, but I would also like to invite um, and I'm not they're not here on the list, but they were part of the CTEL, a part of the one of the first podcasts, which was Prakash Mansinghani and Burnaby and um, and Ms. Gutierrez, yes. It, it was another one. Congratulations. 
Laura Huerta, I'm sorry. Yes, it was Laura Huerta, if you can come on stage. They were part of one of our CTEL um, podcasts, so it, they were instrumental in helping that be a success. So um, the next award is going to be Commitment to Excellence Award, and that's going to be presented by Dr. Diana Ortiz. Thank you. So this award is being given to Ms. Cristina Valenciano and the student employees. Cristina Valenciano's department and team have worked relentlessly to centralize all institutional department internal and external events at Laredo College. This service to the college and community has created a more effective and efficient way for events planning impacting the overall branding of the college within and outside the institution. From the inception of her role as events manager, Ms. Valenciano has taken her role seriously, began organizing her department, and hit the ground running. She is responsible for most, if not all, institutional and departmental events that impact academics, workforce, and the community education teams on both campuses. In addition to, this, to the in-house events, she coordinates and works with external organizations and community leaders who use the college as a resource for meetings and events. She indirectly is the face of the college during such engagements and understands that her actions and words have a direct and immediate impact on our college, the mission, and the relationship we have fostered with our community leaders, many are donors. Ms. Valenciano helped centralize the entire events department and created a streamlined inventory for events that include combining the former LEDC, Laredo EDC, Laredo College EDC, my apologies, student life, facilities, human resources, and other department offices inventories. This includes access to all populations, including those with special accommodations. The fluidness of our internal and external events on campus speaks volumes about how we are doing things different at Laredo College, our role in the community, and the expectations we have set forth for Laredo College, the family, and the students attending our college. Cristina's work and that of her team of student employees have helped set the tone and the work has got not gone unnoticed. Help me congratulate Cristina Valenciano and to all the student employees on a job well done. Cristina, congratulations.
This year, we have a new category that is the Student Success Champion Award. Please help me recognize the recipient of this year's Student Success Champion Award. Mr. Pedro Rivera and his team have done an amazing job with student life, student life activities, and in working with the PR team to promote internal college events that create excitement, enticement, awareness, and a positive impact that the activities of ongoing Laredo students experience at the college. Pedro Rivera has made it his goal to work closely with the PR team to help promote student life at Laredo College and the activities that are available to all students attending. In addition, he has helped coordinate and promote the workforce, community education, and academic programs through student life activities and through student mentoring. Prior to Mr. Rivera taking the role of student life, the student life activities seemed a little limited and lacked a sense of pride. Today, that life has changed within our college and in our events and in student participation. And it is through the social media promoting these events and campaigns that you have positively impacted student life at Laredo College. Laredo College has benefited from the student life branding, which has directly impacted the students, the engagement, the enticement of all those enrolled at Laredo College. Laredo College looks like a fun place to be and learn thanks to your efforts. As a result of the many life activities around our campus, these students' excitement were fueled by other activities that impacted student life. The mandatory student orientations and tours set the tone, led by our students and for our students. The Student Leadership Senate netted capacity on a Saturday while our college students learned about the college and community, students growing and developing academically and as future citizens. At the end of it all, Pedro provides amazing customer service to anyone he comes in contact with. I have seen it firsthand. When you see a group of students working around campus, students Flashing the Laredo College pride and hand symbol, students simply ha ha hanging out and having fun, Pedro Rivera has probably had something to do with this. Thank you, Pedro, for your amazing leadership at Laredo College, your mentoring of future leaders in, in, at Laredo College, and in helping set the tone at Laredo College. Help me congratulate Pedro Rivera for the Student Success Champion Award. At this time, if we could also have Elva Bubo, Rosario Dominguez, Daniela Medina, Blanca Turan, Nara Vara, Paula Ovalle, Joanna Santian, Myra Garza, Cristiano Campo, and Maria Salas, a combination of the PR as well as student life team. Who's taking the picture? Who's taking your picture? Oh, okay. Congratulations, Mr. Pedro Rivera and the Student Office of Student Life 
along with the supporting members, the PR team. The next award being presented is another new category, the Student Impact Award, presented by Dr. Fred Solis. Once again, I think the introduction is gonna give away the recipients, but nevertheless, the Office of Admissions has developed and implemented a process that instills a sense of belonging in our newest Palominos at Laredo College. This new approach allows students to take ownership of their admissions journey and stay informed about, about their application status. As a result, our incoming students feel excited and connected to Laredo College family from one day, from day one rather, marking a significant success for the institution. The Office of Admissions has achieved several significant accomplishments, including the development of a new welcome packet for admitted students and the creation of My LC Status website, which ensures students get to know exactly what is pending for their admission. Additionally, they have introduced a What's Next page to help admitted students understand the steps to take after being accepted to Laredo College. These initiatives, along with many other accomplishments, have greatly enhanced the admissions process at Laredo College. Now, why is this important? Laredo College has benefited in numerous ways from this improvement, with one of the most significant being the enhanced competitiveness as a top choice for many students. The initiatives developed by the Office of Admissions have encouraged incoming students to view Laredo College as their first choice, making the institution a preferred destination for higher education. Please help me welcome the Office of Admissions, headed by Mr. Jorge Dimas, followed by Reina Alvarez, Yvonne Delgado, and Maria Robles. Congratulations. The next award is presented is the Transformative Teaching Award, a new category under the President's Award. Please welcome Dr. Horacio Salinas, who will present this award. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. It's an honor to present the President's Award Transformation Teaching Award. The Arts and Sciences Division underwent a remarkable transformation during the past academic year successfully transitioning to an eight-week course model. This achievement stands as a testament to the exceptional leadership of our division chairs. Their commitment to the college's institutional goals and strategic planning has been instrumental in navigating this shift from the traditional 16-week format. The chairs fostered a collaborative environment, ensuring faculty were well-equipped to embrace this change through regular meetings, professional development sessions, and continuous support. This transition de demanded a comprehensive redesign of courses across various delivery modes, face-to-face, -face, hybrid, and online. Throughout the process, the chairs maintained open communication channels with their faculty, addressed concerns, and emphasized the long-term benefits of this new model. Collaboration proved to be the cornerstone of this endeavor. The chairs worked closely with other department leaders and engaged regularly with the dean ensuring a cohesive and unified implementation process. This collaborative approach facilitated the sharing of best practices and resources, contributing to a smoother transition for both faculty and students. Preliminary results of this transition have been overwhelmingly positive. Students have benefited from the increased flexibility and accelerated progress towards their educational goals. The enhanced course designs and support systems have improved student success rates, underscoring the value of the eight-week model. In conclusion, we extend our sincere gratitude to the, to the arts and sciences chairs for their visionary leadership, resilience, and dedication to student success. Their exemplary efforts have not only transformed our course delivery model, but also set a new benchmark for, excuse me, for innovation and collaboration within our institutions. 
Their outstanding contributions make them truly deserving of the President's Award. Let me introduce the Chairs of the Arts and Sciences to receive this award. Dr. Armando Perez, Kinesiology. <laughs> Ms. Norma Achar, Mathematics. <laughs> Ms. Celinda Martinez, Natural Sciences. <laughs> Mr. René Montemayor, English Languages and Cultural Studies. <laughs> Mr. Prakash Masinghani, Social Sciences. Mr. David McGinnis, Performing Arts and Communication. And Mr. Pablo Martinez, Behavioral Sciences. Thank you. Congratulations to all of the winners today, to all of those that we recognize. I have to tell you that all of these nominations for these awards were made by the individual who read the actual award. Uh, it was not my office. It was not, uh, it, it was not just the vice president. Everybody had an opportunity to make a nomination. And so those that were selected, uh, had an opportunity to get the recognition for making that nomination. And I thank all of the, the nominators because I think they did a great job in nominating our, our selected winners today. Many of the initiatives that we recognize, all of the initiatives that we recognize today have had an impact on where we are today as an institution and where we're headed as an institution, both on the academic, on the workforce, and on the student life side. So thank you all for your continued support. Thank you all for your continued dedication. Thank you all for hanging in there all day long. Um, and and I, I really want to wish you all an incredible, fun, and exciting year. I think this year has a lot to offer. I think that within this next year, we're going to see a lot more uh, changes within higher education, some of those that we are initiating and others that may be imposed on, upon us, but we're, whatever it is, we're ready to, to, to tackle what comes next. And so together we can do anything that we set our minds to. That eight-week team, all of these teams that we recognize today, the, the collaboration between departments, the collaboration between individuals from different departments sets the tone for the direction in which we're headed. So thank you all for your willingness to, to work together, to stay together, and to be one Laredo College. Thank you all very much. We wish you an incredible, incredible year. Have fun doing it. Please have fun doing it. Because when it's no longer fun, then it's not worth doing. So enjoy your year. Enjoy all of the successes that come your way. And remember, Palominos, we're on the stampede. Let's go.